Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Digital Logic Design. Today we will study min terms and max terms. So far we know that a single binary variable can have a two values of 0 and 1. Similarly, if we have two binary variables, it can have four possible combinations like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Or if we have n binary variables, we can have 2 power n binary combinations starting from 0 up to 2 power n minus 1. These combinations are associated with the values of a binary variable. Now, in any Boolean expression, a binary variable can occur in a normal form or the unprime form and the prime form or the complemented form. Similarly, if a Boolean function consists of two variables, then we have four possible forms of appearance like the variables can occur in the form of x prime y prime, x prime y, x y prime and x and y. Similarly, if we have a function which consists of n binary variables, then the possible forms of appearance are 2 power n. So any given boolean expression or the function can have variable in the prime form or the unprime form and multiple variables within a function can be combined using AND operator or the OR operator to form terms in a boolean expression. We have two possible types of terms in a boolean function. First one is main term and second one is max term. If all the forms of variables are combined with the help of AND operator then these terms are known as min terms and the min terms have a value of 1 or if all the forms of variable are combined with the help of OR operator then the corresponding terms are known as max terms where max terms have a value of 0. Now the appearance of a variable either in prime form or the unprime form within a term depends on two factors. First one is the term type, either the term is min term or max term and second one is corresponding value of a variable. Now starting with min terms, we know that a min term have a value of 1 and within a min term variables are combined using AND operator. So for any number of variable, each min term is obtained from an AND term of the N variable with each variable being prime if the corresponding bit of the binary number is 0 and unprime if the corresponding value is 1. Consider the example of two variable x and y and for these x and y we have four possible values of binary combination and corresponding to this we have four forms of variables within a term. The first combination is 0, 0 and we know that a min term have a value of 1 and min terms are combined using AND term so 0 dot 0 will give a value of 0 and the required value is 1. So within a min term we will use x prime dot y prime because the prime or the complement will invert the value from 0 into 1. Now 1 dot 1 will give a value of 1. Similarly. For the second combination in which x equals to 0 and y equals to 1, the min term formed will be x prime dot y because x prime will invert the value from 0 into 1 and y already have a value of 1. So 1 dot 1 will give a value of 1. Now in the next case, variable x have a value of 1 and y have a value of 0. So the min term form will be x dot y prime. Because the variable y have a value of 0, so its prime will give a value of 1. In the last case, both variables have a value of 1, so the min term form will be x dot y. And the min terms are also known as standard product. Now if you look at the table, we have a table for min terms of three binary variables x, y and z. On one side of the binary table, you will find all the possible binary combination which starts from 0 up to 7 and corresponding to each binary combination, we have a min term and a designation. 
Now if you look at first binary combination in which all the variables have a value of 0. So the min term form will be x prime dot y prime dot z prime. Similarly if you look at the last combination all the binary variables have a value of 1. So the corresponding term is x dot y dot z and within each binary combination if a variable have a value of 0 it will occur in the prime form and if a variable have a value of 1 it will occur in unprime form within the term. Now for representation of each min term a designation is assigned to them which is represented by m subscript j where j represents decimal equivalent of the corresponding binary combination. Now we will study max terms. We know that a max term have a value of 0 and within each max term variables are combined with the help of OR operator. So we can say that each max term is obtained from an OR term of n binary variables with each variable being unprime if the corresponding bit is 0 and prime if it's 1. Now consider the example of two binary variables x and y and these variables have four possible binary combinations starting from 0, 0 up to 1, 1. Now for each combination we will form a max term. Starting from first case in which both variables have a value of 0 and we know that in max terms variables are combined with the help of or operation or boolean addition. So the corresponding term will be x plus y x plus y means 0 plus 0 will give a value of 0 and a max term have a value of 0. Now for second combination x have a value of 0 and y have a value of 1 so the corresponding max term will be x plus y prime. Here y prime is used because the variable y have a value of 1 so adding 0 plus 1 will give a value of 1 which is not a value of max term. So we will use y prime. Similarly in the third case x have a value of 1 and y have a value of 0 so the corresponding max term will be x prime plus y because x have a value of 1 so we have used the x prime and in the last case both variable have a value of 1 so the corresponding max term will be x prime plus y prime. Also note that max terms are also known as standard sum. Now again in the given table we have max term for three binary variables x, y and z. The combinations of binary variables start from 0, 0, 0 and ends on 1, 1 and 1 and for each binary combination we have a max term. In the first case all the binary variables have a value of 0 so the corresponding max term is x plus y plus z where in the last case all the binary variables have a value of 1 so the corresponding max term is x prime plus y prime plus z prime and in between in any term if a variable have a value of 0 it will occur in the unprime form where if it have a value of 1 it will occur in the prime form to meet the condition of max term. Similarly, we have a designation for each max terms which are represented by capital M subscript J where J represents decimal equivalent of the binary number to each max term designated. And also note that each max term is a complement of its corresponding main term or vice versa. Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.